Uh, hello everyone. I'm here to present a topic on ultrasound imaging in the mycetoma and correlation with the MR and CT. So myself, Dr. Sumit here from GMC Aurangabad. And here we start now. Introduction. Mycetoma is a chronic granulomatous infection of the skin, subcutaneous tissue, and which can extend to the bone with the high morbidity. Males are more affected than the females, possibly due to the outdoor and occupational exposures. It predominantly affects the foot, hands, and legs, but may involve any part of the body. It is also commonly referred as Madura Podazit. It was first described in the Madurai in India by Dr. John Gill in 1842. Vandeki Carter in the 1860 coined dumb mastoma. The region is clinically characteristic by the triad of tumefaction, discharging sinus, and the grains that are formed by the colonies of the causing organisms. It is very important to differentiate mycetoma from other infections and neoplasms. Depending on the organism, it can be either actinomycotic or eumycotic. The disease is common in people with low socioeconomic status, farmers and field workers, mostly who work barefoot, putting them at a great risk of acquiring trauma and infection by these pathogens. The disease is listed by the World Health Organization, WHO, as a like, neglected tropical disease. Okay. So, although it, it is a prevalent worldwide, it um, continues to be the major health problem in the tropical and subtropical countries such as India. So, the aims and objectives of this uh, topic is that the aim of the study is to find out ultrasonographic uh, imaging findings of the mycetoma and emphasis on the role of UHG in the diagnosis and, and to correlate the UHG findings of the mycetoma with the MRI and CT scan and imaging findings. Okay, so the methods and materials used here. This is an observation study conducted at Department of Radio Diagnosis, Government of Ind College of uh, Aurangabad during a period of 2022 to 2023. Approval from the Institutional uh, Ethics Committee was taken before the beginning of the study. The examination carried out after signing the informed consent by the patients. Uh, total 10 patients with foot mycetoma referred from the surgery and the dermatology permanent underwent examination with the Sansom HS50 UHG machine uh, that is an GE 3 Tesla MRI machine and Siemens examination is 120 slice CT scan machine were included in this study. Contrast was used whenever necessary and with proper consent. Um, the UHG images obtained in different planes on uh, grayscale and color doppler imaging. So MRI sequences were obtained used in a phase array uh, surface coil and phases uh, of T1 weighted and T2 weighted proton density and uh, fat suppression stir and uh, DWI images in the different planes. CT images were obtained with the present protocol. Diagnosis uh, was also confirmed with the biopsy and bacterial screening. So results out of 10 patients Seven were active with mycetoma and three were huge mycetoma. So dot in circle sign was observed on the ultrasound Im imaging in 10 cases. In all of them, UHG images revealed that the center is hyper hyper quick area surrounded by the hyperquick tissue and, uh, and uh, had increased vascularity on the top of the So the dot in circle sign was also observed on MRI and 10 patients. The MRI uh, findings were way, most clearly seen in the T2 weighted imaging, stir sequences, as well as fat suppressed T1 weighted sequences after injection of the intravenous gadolinium. MRI images shows uh, multiple discrete millimeter uh, round to oval T1 iso intense and T2 stir hyper intense lesions with hypo intense central, uh, central nodules involving the subcutaneous tissue of the fat, uh, foot with peripheral low signal intensity fibrosis in between, corresponding to mycetomous grains. So the central hypotenuse dot was observed with, within them, uh, making the characteristic of dot in circle sign. UG and MRI also revealed bone involvement in these patients. CT depicted the extent of the bone involvement in the nine patients, more precisely. So now we move on the distribution according to age. So we are distributed according to the age, like the number of cases and the percentage of them uh, from the range of 20, 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, and more than 60. So likewise, you can see see this chart 
and um, distribution according to sex. So there are uh, uh, according to the male and female, there are male eight cases were there and females twenty two cases were there. So this way we have pie chart for that. Imaging characteristics from uh, UHG, MR, and CT. So soft tissue swelling is noted uh, ten plus in UHG. All all the ten patients has uh, this finding soft tissue swelling was there in the UHG also in MR also CT scan also. Dotted circle sign was found in UHG and MR only not in CT. Bone involvement in four patients in UHG, uh, five patients in uh, MR, and nine patients in CT scan. And color Doppler findings are in the UH. So table shows the swelling on imaging um, appreciated plus or minus. And not appreciated means not minus in my stomach patients. So case. So there is a case now here. A 70 year old male patient, farmer by operation present with the left foot swelling and uh, discharging sinus and since seven years. It um, Started uh, as a small painless swelling at the sole. Swelling further increasing in size despite continuing medical treatment at the local level. Play a plain radio crop showed uh, soft tissue swelling. This patient was non diabetic and immunocompetent. So you can see the images of the patients. And the x ray finding here. X ray image. Now, now we'll move for the UHG imaging. Ultrasound examination showed soft tissue swelling. And multiple conglomerated hyperquick lesions with a hyperquick center giving dot in circle sign. See, this is a hyperquick center and around that is a hyperquick area. Okay. So we can see that it's the hyperquick area is a inflammatory granuloma. Midline is the fungal ball or grain at hyperquick. And the outermost hyperquick is the fibrous matrix. You can see that. Usually is showing soft tissue swelling and multiple conglomerated hyperquick lesions with hyperquick center giving dot in circle sign and raised vascularity on the Doppler study. We can see the Doppler study. It's a raised vascularity here and these lesions are here. You can see that. So there is a diffuse um, extensive soft tissue swelling and involving the equitarians and subcutaneous planes and underlying muscles of the shape left foot and ankle region. Multiple rounded lateral uh, signal intensity lesions appearing iso to hypo intense on the T1 weighted imaging. So MRI imaging now you can see this. This lesions is also giving the dot in circle sign as showing. And it shows restriction on the DWI and showing peripheral enhancement on the post contrast study with central hypo intensity giving dot in circle sign, such as to up mycetoma. So here we can see the fungal ball grains. Here the uh, inflammatory granuloma and this is the outermost is the fibrous matrix. Okay. With the picture now. City food. So this is filling with the bone environment. See. And here is a microphone uh, mycology uh, micropology uh, this report is there from the from this sample pus was aspirated here and on the gram standing here plenty pusses gram per to filamentous bacillus here. okay on 10% KOH mounting no fungal elements seen ZN staining no acid bacillus seen from the finding of the gram standing it is a to actinomycetoma compression so, see here, uh, it's the ne next case, the second case. 55 year old male, farmer planted with the left foot swelling and the descending sinus in five years. The patient was non diabetic and immune competent. So, UHG foot imaging uh, is shown here. See, UHG foot showing soft tissue swelling here. Rotting circle sign is there. And there's like the top of the in the mastoma. See, here you can see the raised vascularity and the Regions, not in circle. So MR imaging of the foot of this patient, you can see the innumerable, innumerable round 
founded alter similar instant intensity lesions happening as to hypo intense on t1 weighted imaging intermediate in signal intensity on the t2 weighted and pd imaging and showing the restriction on the dwi okay so this you can see this alter sensory regions core fit and core also you can see the memory showing peripheral enlargement on the post contest study with the central hypo intensity giving dot in circle sign are noted involving skin subcranial tissue enter muscles distal tibia distal fibula all tarsals and all metatarsals and phalanges above this is to of mice mycetoma see here are the these lesions giving dot in circle sign here are these are the post contest images all of them so left foot axial um, pdf fsc and sag t1 fsc post contest showing dot in circle sign here you can see the magnified image here dot in circle sign ct foot showing diffuse bony osteolytic areas with joint involvement you can appreciate that involving the joint osteolytic areas discussion so mycetoma is devastating and neglected tropical limb disease catches by extensive tissue destruction deformities and disabilities in the affected patients in our study out of 10 patients maximum patients were found in the age of the 20 to 40 years of age 60 percent patients which correspond to the most active age group distribution according to the sex shows male predominance male to female ratio was 8 to 2 Actinomycotic patients were more than the eumycotic patients, 7 is to 3 ratio. Ultrasound imaging reveals a central hyperopic area delimiting by, delimited by uh, hypoopic tissue, giving the characteristic dot in circle sign. Doppler image shows where increased vascularity also there. In MRI findings were more, most clear, clearly seen in the T2 stirring sequences and fat suppressed T1 weighted. In sequence after the injection of intravenous contrast, the characteristic dot in circle sign was well evaluated in the MRI and UG, but not in CT. So, the dot in circle sign is clearly visible, characteristic, and highly specific to diagnosis of uh, mycetoma on the both MRI and UH. Obviating the need for the multiple invasive biopsies, a study by the Anitha Sen and the Raj Pillay, Rajesh Pillay, um, and um, Ashwini Kumari, and others. To show the similar findings. Um, CT findings in the mycetoma are not specific but are important in indicating the bone involvement as it can detect bone destruction, erosions, periosteal reactions, soft tissue involvement. So, uh, helical um, CT is superior to the plane CT okay, as it allows three dimensional reconstruction and more precise information on the degree of the organ involvement and can help in surgical management. So, early diagnosis and treatment can prevent the morbidity and improve the prognosis of this. So, what is the conclusion? Conclusion uh, In the conclusion, the study suggests that the mycetoma has characteristic USG imaging uh, features. So, both MR and UH can aid in the early diagnosis and treatment of the mycetoma. When they demonstrate the imaging features of the dot in circle sign corresponding to the inflammatory granuloma with the central fungal then avoiding invasive biopsies. So we can prevent biopsies from bi because of that. It's a definite sign here in the MRI and the UH. So you ultrasonography being easily accessible, feasible, rapid, re repeatable, and radiation free is very useful for diagnosis, treatment, and the follow up of the mastoma patients, which will limit the morbidity and improve the prognosis. Mycetoma, the diagnosis with the UH is very helpful for these patients when, who are generally from rural, low socioeconomic backgrounds where, where MRI, CT, biopsy and bacterial screening facilities are out of their reach. So, UHG really uh, puts a key role in these uh, patients who are in the rural, who lives in rural population areas and low socioeconomic backgrounds. Here we end our uh, presentation.
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर लिसनिंग these are some references to this thank you